Hi, this is George, one of the pastors at Christian Assembly. Just want to thank you for taking time today and reading along with 2 Samuel verse 3. And what really touches me, I guess there are a couple points when I read this, is that first there was six children that David had with six different women. That's going to be a problem at some point. And the second thing that jumps out is that Joab later on murders Abner, whether it was because of uh, revenge, insecurity of his position, variety of different reasons. And what it got me thinking is about when we make decisions that there's always going to be consequences and they may not be immediate. They may be later on down the road, but there will be consequences. Sometimes there'll be good consequences. Sometimes they'll, they'll not be good consequences. So I, as I was thinking and reflecting on this, as your stewardship pastor, I was thinking how this impacts decisions that we make with finances. And a lot of times when we make decisions that are based on our emotions, that can get us in trouble, especially when it comes to finances. And my thinking and my thoughts and something that I try to live by is if there's ever a decision that's a significance when it has to do with finances, I first always pray about it because I want to bring that before the Lord and make sure that that's something that I feel that he's desiring of me to act accordingly and go in that direction. The second thing, I'll always discuss it with my wife. And for those of you that are married or not married, um, I think the way the second part is that you discuss it with someone that's that's trusted, someone that you think is godly counsel. And when you're going to make a decision, don't think of it immediately as a green light. Think of it as a yellow light. Pause, pray about it. And if you feel that God is moving you that direction, that you've discussed it, then act accordingly. But remind ourselves, we have to remember that all of our actions will have consequences and they're either good or they're bad. So hopefully we make decisions that are pleasing to the Lord. So I hope this word fails you today and that you continue to move in a way and move forward and act in a way that pleases God. God bless you.